elementary artist. Today we are going to make some northern light art. The materials you'll need is black construction paper, chalk or oil pastels, white paint, white paper, a pencil, a q-tip, and or a cotton ball. First you'll decide how you want your paper. Do you want a portrait or a landscape? I chose portrait. Now this next step you don't have to do completely, but you want to make sure the white paper covers the width of the black paper. So I'm measuring it and then I'm gonna take my pencil down. You can just leave the pencil, or if you'd like to, you can tear it so you know it's the exact width of your paper. Now if you decided to do a landscape, you may need to use one or more, one or two pieces of white paper um, to cover the whole landscape. Now you'll get to sketch on your white paper your winter landscape. You can add some mountains, you can add some evergreens, you can add some winter animals. Just kind of sketch out a rough draft is how you can think of it. Just a, a quick sketch of how you want um, your landscape to look. And you're not going to go you're not gonna fill that whole piece because um, we're just getting the outline of it. Um, so really think about the outline, the top line of where you're gonna be drawing. Now I'm coming in and just really bolding out that top line of my artwork so that I know where I'm gonna cut because we're creating almost um, just a sharp line so that the chalk won't go past this. So we'll, we're just creating that line to create those mountains. So bolding out that top line. And then once you've done that, You'll grab your scissors and you will cut out your mountain. Just the line, just that top line. We're just getting the outline of the mountain. So you don't need to cut out the entire thing. That's just kind of to practice and help you get an idea of what you want in the foreground. But we're cutting that entire line out. And because they're mountains, I kind of wanted my scissors to be a little bit jagged. And so I uh, wiggled my scissors a little bit as I cut this so that it looked more realistic, more like a um, organic mountain. When we think about placement as an artist, where we're going to place our foreground, we always want to consider the rule of thirds. So when you look at a picture or an artwork, it's often divided into ninths and or to thirds horizontally, divided into thirds um, vertically. And so that's up and down and side to side. And when you look at a piece of art, you can look at the focal point, the point of interest is usually on one of those third lines. Things aren't usually straight in the center, but it creates a visual effect um, when you have things in either the bottom third or the right or left third. So that's what we're considering when we place our mountains down. Now this is based off of um, a conch shell actually and this spiral shape in nature that as humans were attracted to this rule of thirds because of that spiral shape. 
So as you see, I'm placing my mountains on the bottom third. And I'm doing this because I want my northern lights to take up the majority of the picture here. So now I'm gonna take a piece of tape because I don't want my paper to move. And I'm gonna take a lot of the stickiness off by putting it on my wrist, by putting it on my hand. I'm just getting it less sticky because um, I don't need a whole lot of stick to just get this paper to um, tape to the other paper so that it just stays stationary. For my favorite part, playing with oil pastels or chalk pastels if you'd like to create some color, some northern lights. So color the northern lights however you would like to. You can smudge with your finger, a Q-tip, or a cotton ball. I've added some real life pictures of the northern lights if you want that as your inspiration. But I do encourage you, you don't have to copy me. Look at the pictures, look how what colors you want to add, go with your gut, and just have fun creating the Northern Lights. Something I love about oil pastels too is that the colors layer really nicely. So you're kind of mixing colors right on the paper. You're using the Q-tip, your finger or a cotton ball to smudge it in and um, you're, mixing, you're mixing the colors together and that's gonna create that really pretty northern light effect because as you can see in the pictures, the colors mix together as well. Here I'm using my finger to smudge that oil pastel in and create a little bit of a softer look. On the other side, I put the pastel down and then I use my finger and bring it back through. And I kind of liked my finger a little bit better. The Q-tip and cotton ball took off a lot more, but I kept that in mind um, when I started to doing my foreground. There's my thumb. And then look at your fingers when you do this. Um, you may need to wash your hands a few times just to so that you're not putting colors where you don't want them to go.
So you can use white paint, oil pastel, a white crayon, a chalk pastel to create some stars. First, I'm just blowing off some of that excess um, oil pastel. So you can just make brush it off a little bit. And then I'm taking my white paint and I'm pushing my finger, I'm pushing the brush against my finger to flick the white paint to create stars. So I press the bristles of the brush against my finger and it flicks the paint. It's really fun to do. But I wanna make sure I keep that stencil on because I don't want paint in that foreground because this is supposed to be part of the sky. So that's why we're doing this with the stencil with that white paper on. Now I love this part. Let's take off that white paper and see how it works so well. We have that nice sharp edge for our, um, for our foreground. And so we're gonna color that foreground landscape however you would like. Remembering you can always refer back to that white paper however you sketched out at first. Um, you can add mountains, you can add some fun um, winter animals, you can add some evergreen trees. Um, there's so many options for um, this winter scene. You could maybe even add a snowman, just whatever you want. You could do a lake and you could even try and add some reflection um, of the lights in a lake. I put a little bit of the reflection of the northern lights in my mountains by just adding a little bit of blue and pink and green into that mountain, just to add a little bit of that shine um, off that white snow, um, just so that it makes it just a little bit more interesting. For my evergreens, I am layering, layering, layering. So I start with a first color and I create a triangle and then I draw a line from the tip of the triangle all the way down. And then from there, I brush out um, little branches. I'm just doing one color at first, but I'm gonna layer a bunch of colors on top. I draw a triangle just the top of a triangle and then I draw a line straight down like you're drawing an arrow and then a little bit of brush branches off from that center line making them a little bit wider as they go out to create my evergreen Now I love layering colors. I think it looks really pretty. It's really fun. It's really intuitive too. You can look at the colors and think what colors would go well here. So I'm doing a bright green on top of this tree. I add some darker greens on some of the other trees. And the last step I do is I add white on top just to add a little bit of shimmer and I love that effect. So now I'm coming in with that white, just adding a little bit of dimension, a little bit of shimmer in these tree branches. I'm using, following that same line of the branches going out, just to emphasize the way that looks. I'm adding just a little bit more highlight in my lights just to add a little bit more emphasis. What I'm doing is I'm looking and I'm seeing what does this artwork need to be complete? What do I see 
that needs to be fixed. So I realized I went too white. So I'm taking my cotton ball and I'm brushing down from the mountain just so that um, I'm pulling off some of that pigment so it's a little bit darker because I felt like I went too, too light down and I want it to be a little bit darker towards the bottom. Then I decided that these mountains needed to be a little bit more distinct, so I took a line, a white line, down so that you could see the difference in both those mountains. I'm doing that same thing, using my cotton ball, using my finger, using a Q-tip to get that um, oil pastel to do what I want it to do. And I'm looking, I'm using my intuition, I'm using my eyes to decide when I'm gonna be complete. And there we have it, our Northern Light Oil Pastel artwork. Mm -hmm.